Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you eight things to do before 9 a.m. So let's get into it. So if one of your goals is to become more productive, you may need to set your alarm for earlier in the morning. So there are several things that you can do before 9 a.m. to have a productive morning. And this is gonna help you to make sure that you achieve your both personal goals, your business goals, whatever goals you have on a weekly and monthly basis. So did you know that studies have shown that you're more productive between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m.? So at this point in the day, you should be focusing on your most important tasks, not the smaller ones that you can do when you're a little bit mentally fatigued or tired. So my recommendation is to get past the small stuff and get started with those big things right at 9 a.m. And the first thing that you have to do, and I'm guilty of it, is you have to get past the excuse that I'm not a morning person because you can condition yourself to start to achieve things earlier in the morning. And so I'm just sharing with you a morning routine that may be able to help. Of course, you don't have to copy it all. You can just take what works for you and start to implement some of those things. Write them down on your list of productive activities that are going to work for you in the morning and use this as a foundation to develop your very own morning routine that's going to work best for you. So of course, depending on how many activities you've written down on your morning routine, you may need to get up at 6 a.m. or even a little bit later than that. So you yourself have to determine what time is going to be best for you to wake up before 9 a.m. So the first thing that I do is try to stretch in the morning. Taking care of yourself and your body is of utmost importance, so make sure to do that first. So I am a very spiritual person. I take my spirituality very seriously, okay? So I like to say a prayer in the morning and meditate for a few minutes. I also do my daily text, which is just a daily scripture, and that really helps to set the tone for the day. Now, if you're not a spiritual person, maybe consider a journal and jot down some positive thoughts for the day. So the next thing is to have a cup of tea or coffee. I happen to really love this particular tea right now. It's called passion tea and it is so yummy. You don't even need any sugar or anything to go into it. It is good just like it is. You could also have a smoothie in the morning. A cup of coffee could work well if you are a coffee drinker. So keep to a daily routine of having something in the morning, even if it's not breakfast. If you're a breakfast person, of course, make something simple to have in the morning and try to keep that a routine for you. So in the past, you guys, I have been totally guilty of walking around in my jammies. As you guys know, I work from home, so I don't necessarily have to get dressed, but I find that when I take a shower and I get dressed, it just helps me to be able to be at my peak in terms of productivity for that day. So if you have kids, start getting them up, get them ready, get them off to school or homeschool, and then get yourself together, okay? Maybe even put a little makeup on. I mean, you don't have to, but that's always gonna make you feel better. So take a shower, Get yours for the day. That is going to help you have the most productive day ever. Next thing is to write out your wish list for one or two goals you want to accomplish for the day. Of course, writing down your goals are going to help make sure that you achieve those things that you want to do. So write them down in your planner and maybe a top three could work as well for you. Write down your top three things that you want to make sure that you're getting done for that particular day, even if they're not goals. They're just of high priority. Write those down first, tackle those things first, so that way the most important things have been completed for that day and all of the smaller tasks will follow. 
So earlier we went ahead and wrote in our goals, maybe our top three. Now you wanna write your complete to-do list with small activities, two even big priorities, and what content maybe you wanna create if you're a content creator, what you wanna promote also if you're in this world of content creation, social media, and who you need to connect with for the day. So write in your entire to-do list, who you need to call, who you need to email, big things, small things, dump it all out. If you haven't done that yet, I do like to prepare myself on Sundays and I typically write those things in on that day but every now and then we do need to add to our to-do list so this is the time to do that. Next, do a quick read through of the latest news for your niche. So I am in the social media world, planner world, mommy world, lifestyle world. So I like to keep up with all the big news, any blogging news, any latest things on social media and marketing. I like to make sure that I'm a little bit up to date on those things. So bookmark any headlines that intrigue you for later reading and make sure that you are reading through the top news for the day. And that's only going to help you to be able to discover things that are going on in your niche and also help you to learn and taking in knowledge of things that you may need to just know about and also things that can help you to improve in your particular niche. And lastly, respond to those emails. This is always a tough one for me. So I find that when I tackle it in the morning before 9 a.m., the evening time is when I used to do my emails before. But people are moving and shaking early on. So I try to respond to at least two, three or more emails before 9 a.m. And then you can tackle other emails that occur throughout the day at that time or save those to maybe the evening time or whatever time is most appropriate for you. But try to respond to a few emails first in the morning. So that's it guys. And remember, stuff happens. So get right on back on track if you fall off the wagon. There are just some days that won't go well for you. That is normal. The key is to get back on track and do it quickly. Setting up good habits for yourself takes time and falling off the wagon is super easy. So you may need to change things up from time to time and that's okay too. Ultimately, I'm trying to share with you an approach to structuring your morning, a way to get motivated and accomplish those things that will help you achieve your daily goals. So I hope this works for you. So that's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. You'll give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it, and you'll come back by and catch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.